Yeremiah Jeremiah 36. And it came to pass, in the fourth year of Yahu Yachim, the son of Yoshiyahu, king of Yahudah, that this word came unto El Yeremiah from Yahuwah, saying, Take you a roll of a sefer, and write therein eth all the words that I have spoken unto you against Yashadael, and against Yahudah, and against all the nations, from the day I spoke unto you, from the days of Yoshiyahu, even unto this day. It may be that the house of Yahudah will hear, eth all the evil which I purpose to do unto them, that they may return every man from his evil way, that I may forgive their iniquity and their sin. Then Yirmiyahu called Eth Baruch, the son of Neriyahu, and Baruch wrote from the mouth of Yirmiyahu, Eth all the words of Yahuwah which he had spoken unto him, upon a roll of a sefer. And Yirmiyahu commanded Eth Baruch, saying, I am shut up. I cannot go into the house of Yahuwah. Therefore go and read in the roll which you have written from my mouth, eth the words of Yahuwah in the ears of the people in Yahuwah's house upon the fasting day. And also you shall read them in the ears of all Yahudah that come out of their cities. It may be they will present their supplication before Yahuwah and will return every one from his evil way. For great is the anger and the fury that Yahuwah has pronounced against this people. And Baruch the son of Neriyahu did according to all that Yeremiyahu the prophet commanded him, reading in the Sefer the words of Yahuwah in Yahuwah's house. And it came to pass in the fifth year of Yahu Yachim, the son of Yoshi Yahu, king of Yahudah, in the ninth month, that they proclaimed a fast before Yahuwah to all the people in Yerushalayim and to all the people that came from the cities of Yahudah unto Yerushalayim. Then read Baruch in the Sefer, eth the words of Yeremiyahu in the house of Yahuwah, in the chamber of Gemar Yahu, the son of Shaphan the scribe, in the higher court, at the entry of the new gate of Yahuwah's house, in the ears of all the people, when Mike Yahu, the son of Gemar Yahu, the son of Shaphan, had heard out of the Sefer, eth all the words of Yahuwah. Then he went down into the king's house, into the scribe's chamber, and lo, all the princes sat there, even Elishama, the scribe, and Dela Yahu, the son of Shemei Yahu, and El Nathan, the son of Achbor, and Gemar Yahu, the son of Shaphan, and Sidichi Yahu, the son of Hanan Yahu, and all the princes. Then Mike Yahu declared unto them eth all the words that he had heard, when Baruch read the Sefer in the ears of the people. Therefore all the princes sent eth Yahudi, the son of Nathan Yahu, the son of Shalem Yahu, the son of Cushi, unto Baruch, saying, Take in your hand the roll wherein you have read in the ears of the people, and come. So Baruch, the son of Neri Yahu, took eth the roll in his hand, and came unto them. And they sent, said unto him, Sit down now, and read it in our ears. So Baruch read it in their ears. Now it came to pass, when they had heard eth all the words, they were afraid, both one and another, rather and other, and said unto Baruch, 
we will surely tell the king eth all these words. And they asked eth Baruch, saying, Tell us now, how did you write eth all these words at his mouth? Then Baruch answered them, He pronounced eth all these words unto me with his mouth, and I wrote them with ink in the Sefer. Then said the princes unto Baruch, Go, hide you, you and Yeremiyahu, and let no man know where ye be. And they went into the king, into the court, but they laid up at the roll in the chamber of Elishama the scribe, and told eth all the words in the ears of the king. So the king sent eth Yahudi to fetch eth the roll, and he took it out of the rather out of Eli Shama, the scribe's chamber, and Yahudi read it in the ears of the king and in the ears of all the princes which stood beside the king. Now the king sat in the winter house in the ninth month, and eth there was a fire on the hearth burning before him, and it came to pass that when Yahudi had read three or four leaves, he cut it with the penknife and cast it into the fire that was on the hearth, until all the roll was consumed in the fire that was on the hearth. Yet they were not afraid, nor rent at their garments, neither the king nor any of his servants that heard at all these words. Nevertheless, El Nathan and Delayahu, the Garmayahu, had made intercession to the king that he would not burn at the roll, but he would not hear them. But the king commanded at Yerachemmeel, the son of Hamalech, and at Seriyahu, the son of Arizel, and at Shalemyahu, the son of Avdiel, to take at Baruch, the scribe, and eth Yeremiyahu the prophet, but Yahuwah hid them. Then the word of Yahuwah came to El Yeremiyahu, after that the king had burned eth the roll, and eth the words which Baruch wrote at the mouth of Yeremiyahu, saying, Take you again another roll, and write it, rather, in it eth all the former words that were in the first roll, which Yahu Yachim, the king of Yahudah, has burned. And you shall say to Yahu Yachim, king of Yahudah, Thus says Yahuwah, You have burned at this roll, saying, Why have you written therein, saying, The king of Babel shall certainly come and destroy at this land, and shall cause to cease from thence man and beast? Therefore, thus says Yahuwah of Yahu Yachim, king of Yahudah, He shall have none to sit upon the throne of David, and his dead body shall be cast out in the day to the heat, and in the night to the frost. And I will punish him and his seed and his servants for their, rather, for eth their iniquity. And I will bring upon them and upon the inhabitants of Yerushalayim and upon the men of Yahudah eth all the evil that I have pronounced against them, but they have hearkened not. Then took Yirmiyahu another roll and gave it to Baruch the scribe, the son of Neriyahu, who wrote therein from the mouth of Yirmiyahu eth all the words of the Sefer, which Yahu Yachim, son of Yahudah, had burned in the fire, and there were added besides unto them many like words. <laughs>